Arshima, Yashalam, Yahawa, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawa, Khub, Shema, Yashalam, Yahawa, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawa, Khub, Shema, Yashalam, Yahawa, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawa, Khub. Let's start out like to say, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shah, Brakata Yahawa. Brakata Yahweh Shah, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Rakakudash. It's all praises and blessings to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, that teach well. Shalom. And peace and blessings to the house of David, to the hopeful elect brothers that's pushing his truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And that very few sisters that listen up and subscribe as well. Shalom to you. Um, this is your brother Yam Yan Yad coming back with another uh another video. You know, um, so tonight we got the Passover coming up. You know, and I just wanna um I just wanna get that Exodus ch chapter 12, you know. You know, just 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 to read that that chapter. So this is um <clears throat> this is Exodus twelve and verse one. You know, again, going straight, getting straight into it. It said, "And the Lord spoke unto Moses, the Lord Yahweh, this is Lord all Lord in all caps, Yahweh, spoke unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months, and it shall be, it shall be the first month of the year to you. So, you see, January first. It's not the first month, you know, the dead of the winter, you know, when, 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 when shit is dead, you know, all the crops are dead, the trees, the grass and all this shit still dead. That is not, that's not the, the beginning of the year, man. You know, that's Esau, Esau set that up, man. You know, Esau changed laws and times, man. You know, the beginning of the, the beginning of the year is actually in the spring, you know, which was the, was the so-called March, man. You know, and that started two weeks ago. At the Sabbath, man, you know, the beginning of the of the new moon for this month started the year off, man, you know, in, in the world of Yasharala. <clears throat> it's that this month shall be unto you the beginning of months, and it shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them um, take, take to them every man a lamb according to to the house of their fathers, and a lamb for a house, right? A lamb for a house, man. It's an end of the household be too little for the lamb. Let him and his neighbor next unto him unto his house take it according to the number of the souls, and every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. So this was back when we was actually in Egypt. You know, if the, if the, if the house was too little for the lamb, you know, you, you share it with your neighbor, man. You know, um, but here, here in Babylon, the great, our neighbor is not in the truth, man. You know, our neighbor is not in the truth. Our neighbor is not want to, our neighbor don't want nothing to do with Passover, man. They, they ready for Easter. They, they get ready to celebrate the damn, the, uh, the holidays of this world, man. You know, they get ready to celebrate, they get ready to celebrate Esau's wickedness, man. You know? But yeah, man. <clears throat> it says, um, it says, your lamb shall be without blemish, a meal of the first year. You shall take it out from among, from the sheep or from the goats. And you shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month, and and the whole assembly of the congregation of the Israel shall kill it in the evening. You know, so on the Sabbath, you know, starting Passover, it said, um, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the house wherein they shall eat it, and they shall eat the flesh in that night. Roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs shall they eat it. Eat not of it raw nor sodden, 
Sun going into boiling like with water, you know? Not at all with water. Or if you bake it, don't bake it with water. You know, like like I bake certain chicken, I bake steaks and all that. I bake it, I bake it with water, you know, to, to tenderize it. But um, it said, but not no no sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, man. So we can eat it uh, roasted with fire, cooked with fire, on in the skillet, on the grill, in the oven, you know, over fire roasted. They said his head with his legs. And with the uh, fruitness thereof, you know, and we don't we don't own a lot of we don't own flock on this side, man. If, if Jake do is very rare, but you know, you just go to the store, get you some lamb, lamb chops, lamb leg, whatever however you're gonna do, get you some lamb, and um, you know, just cook your lamb, you know, eat it with your with your unleavened bread and your and your bitter herbs, you know. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that which remaining until the morning, you shall burn it with fire, man. So, so you will just just throw it out or, or burn it with fire, man. You know. And thus you shall eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So, so you got to eat it quickly, man. When you eat your lamb, man, you gotta you gotta eat it in haste. You gotta eat it quickly. You know, because this was in, this was during the time of uh, of the Lord bringing us out of Egypt, man. You know, see, this was when the Lord finna uh, get ready to judge the Egyptians, man. You know, the firstborn of the Egyptians. They said, um, "For for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night." This is verse twelve. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will I will execute judgment. I am the Lord Yahweh. See, and then in the Lord, the scriptures say the Lord is known for His judgment, man. See, the Lord name went throughout out the, the Lord. The name of the Lord was feared upon all the earth from the judgment of Egypt, man. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and you shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. And this is why. We continue to keep the Passover, you know. No, no, we don't have to go and strike blood on our doorposts now because you have a Shemuel Shai. We, we, uh, he, he sacrificed. You have a Shemuel Shai is that lamb, man. He sacrificed for us, man. We, we, we are saved by the blood of you have a Shemuel Shai, man. You know. And that's through, through faith, man. You know. Those that are actually faithful to you have a Shemuel Shai, man. You know. It says, seven days shall you eat unleavened bread. Even the first day you shall put it away leaven out of your house, man. For whatsoever, for whosoever eat leaven bread from the first day until the seventh, that soul should be cut off from Israel. So if we even, even, see, even that same night, the Passover starts the feast of unleavened bread, you know, for seven days, man. We got to get all the leaven out of your house. And I just started, um. I started removing leaven out of my house, I think, two days ago. You know, I got a lot of leaven, you know? But not only out of your house, man, you want to remove the leaven from your spirit, man. You know, things that are, uh, that are uh, stumbling blocks into you, man, you know? And it said, um, it said, well, for whosoever eat leaven bread from that, from that first day until the seventh, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. And in the first day, there shall be a holy convocation. And in the seventh day, there shall be a holy convocation to you. No matter of work shall be done in them, save, save that which every man must eat. That only may be done of you. So, the first day and the seventh day are both Sabbath days, you know. It, it begins on the Sabbath. The Passover come in on the Sabbath. The Feast of Unleavened Bread uh, begins on the Sabbath, and it and it and it's over on the on the eve of the next Sabbath, you know, for seven days. Well, after the seventh day of the next Sabbath, you know, and said, and ye shall observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread 
for it is the self same day have I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. So this is going to be the same same day that the Lord brought us out of Egypt, man. Therefore, ye shall observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever, man. So the Lord gave us order. The Lord gave us an order to observe the feast of unleavened bread and the Passover throughout our generations, man. It said, and in the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, it said, in the first month, which is this month, on the fourteenth day of the month, at evening, ye shall eat unleavened bread. Until the one and the twentieth in the twentieth day of the month of evening. You know, that's the twenty-first day. Verse 19 says, Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your houses, for whosoever eat it, that which is leaven, which that soul shall be the even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he be a stranger or born in the land. You shall eat nothing leaven, and all your habitations shall ye eat unleavened bread. Then Moses called for the called all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take your lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. <clears throat> and ye shall take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and strike it and strike the lintel, the lintel, and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin, and none of you shall go out the door into the house of his house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through and smite the Egyptians. And and when he see the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the, over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come into your house to smite you. So, you know, by that with that blood on the doorpost, hey, the spirit, uh, that, that death spirit, the Lord calls it to pass over the, the Israelites in that day, man. You know? Well, because they had listened to Moses, man. And they said, um, yeah, he said, and I will not suffer the destroyer to come into your houses to smite you. And ye shall observe this thing for ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. And it shall come to pass when you become to the land which the Lord would give you according to as he hath, as he hath promised, that ye shall keep this service. And it shall come to pass when your children shall say unto you, What mean ye by this service? You, then that ye shall say, It is the sacrifice of the Lord's Passover, who passed over the houses of, of the children of Israel and Egypt when he smote the Egyptians and delivered our houses. And the people bowed and, 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 like, and the people bowed the head and worship. And the children of Israel went away and, and did as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron. So did they. And it came to pass that the, at that midnight that the Lord smote the firstborn in the land of Egypt. From the firstborn of the Pharaoh that sat on his throne unto the firstborn of the captain that was in the dungeon. And the first and all the firstborn of the cattle. And Pharaoh rose up in the night. He and all his servants and Egypt and all of Egypt. It's like and all the Egyptians. And there was a great cry in Egypt. For there was not a house where there was not one dead man. Hey, so hey, I mean the scripture say that was not a house that was not one dead man. Besides, you know, besides the the uh, the Israelites who the Lord passed over, man. And he called he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, "Rise up and get you forth among my people, both ye and the children of Israel, and go serve the Lord, go serve Yahweh as ye have said. Also take your flocks and your herds." As ye have said, and be gone, and bless me also. And the Egyptians were urging upon the people that they might send them out of their land in haste. So hey, they wanted, to, they wanted to, the Israelites go, man. For for they said, we be all dead men. And the people took their dough before it was leavened, and their kneading troughs, uh, being bound up in their clothes upon their shoulders. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses, and they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and remnant. And the Lord, the Lord Yahweh gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. 
So then, I'm going to pluck it. Sage. So that they let unto them such things as they required. And they and they spoiled the Egyptians. It's 37. It said, and, and the children of Israel journeyed from Ramses to Sukkoth. About 600,000 on foot that were beside children. I mean, that were men beside children. And a mixed multitude went up also with them in flocks and herds, even very much cattle. They baked unleavened cakes of the dough which they brought forth out of Egypt, for it was not leavened because they didn't have time. They had to, they didn't, they didn't have time to uh for that, you know, to use living agents for that dough to rise. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have time for that dough to rise because that was the Lord told them eat eat in haste. You know. It said for it was not leavened because they were thrust out of Egypt and and could not tarry. Neither had they prepared themselves any victual. Now the sojourning of the children of Israel who dwelt in Egypt was 430 years. So the children of Israel, they sojourned in Egypt 430 years, man. They, they was in Egypt, in, in, uh, and it came to pass at the end of the 430 years, even, even the self-same day it came to pass that all the hosts of the land went out from the land of Egypt. It is a night to be much observed unto the Lord for bringing them out from the land of Egypt. This is the night of the Lord to be observed for all the children of Israel and their generations. So, and the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, This is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no stranger eat thereof. But every man's servant that is bought, bought for money, when there, uh, so like when thou hast circumcised him, then, then shall he eat thereof. A foreigner and a hired servant shall not eat thereof. In one house shall there be so like in one house shall it be eaten, thou shalt not carry forth forth all, all, all the flesh so like it. Let me go back. That much is going. What was that? I say it's in one house shall it be eaten, thou shalt not carry forth out of out of the flesh abroad out of the house, neither shall ye break a bone thereof. All the congregation of Israel shall keep it. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, and will keep the Passover to, to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised, and then let him come near and keep it. And he shall be as one that is born in the land. For no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. But one law shall be to him that is homeborn and to the stranger that is sojourned among them. Thus did all the children of Israel as the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. And it came to pass the self saying day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their armies, man. So the Yahweh Shai, and he hey, he did what he said he was gonna do, man. You know, and what the scriptures say, the word, Yahweh Shem Yashai, his word, don't go out and return unto him void, man. You know, but, um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to grab that book on the Passover, man. You know, like I said, which is tonight, and, and starts the Feast of Unleavened Breads, man. So it's, 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 like I said, it's not a thing of partying, you know, it, it's not a, it's not, it's, it's not, we don't supposed to be in that partying spirit, man. Hell, the spirit of death. Hey, the spirit of death is coming in the land, man. You know? You know, the scriptures say even the Lord bring his judgment uh, to light every morning. You know? So the Lord kill. Hey, and, hey, the Lord kill every day, man. You know, we just we just praying that, hey, that Yahweh Shemel Shai have mercy on us. That's, you know, that actually, they believe in him. You know? They believe in him and call upon his name, man. You know? But, um... I mean that's that's about all I have for now, man. So I want, I want to go ahead and wrap it up. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakadash. It's Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakadash. A double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, that's pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth and sincerity. And a peace and blessings to the house of David, man. Shalom, shalom. Nababa Ba, Kwame Shalom.